Hey, 49ers faithful! In today's video we bring you the hottest 49ers news, featuring player trades, contract extensions, signings, free agency moves, and more. So, stay with us and watch the whole video. The injury bug has struck the 49ers. It began with RB Christian McCaffrey and rookie WR Ricky Pearsall. This followed the 49ers entering their 2024 training camp already missing S. Talanoa Hufanga, knee, and LB Dre Greenlaw, Achilles, due to injuries from last season. Now, WR Debo Samuel will be sidelined for a few weeks, and TE George Kittle might also miss some action. The biggest concern for 49ers fans is whether or not QB Brock Purdy can guide his team to victory despite the absence of key offensive players. To get an idea of what Purdy will be missing if McCaffrey, Samuel, and Kittle are unavailable, let's review what these three offensive stars accomplished last season. McCaffrey, NFL Offensive Player of the Year, third in NFL MVP, first team All-Pro, Pro Bowl 1,459 rushing yards, first in the NFL, 564 receiving yards, and 21 total touchdowns. Samuel, 892 receiving yards, 225 rushing yards, and 12 total touchdowns. Kittle, first team all pro, Pro Bowl 1020 receiving yards and 6 touchdowns. This means the 49ers could be missing 1684 rushing yards, 2476 receiving yards, and 39 touchdowns from their lineup. But beyond just the stats, the 49ers could also be without the leadership and fierce attitude these players bring. In 2023, for instance, the 49ers had a 0-3 record without Samuel. How can the 49ers overcome these setbacks and win on Sunday? Well, it helps that their opponent, the Los Angeles Rams, is also dealing with more injuries than the 49ers. Plus, even though they're playing at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, it will feel like a home game for the 49ers. Here are three things the 49ers must do to help Purdy lead the team through this difficult situation. Focus on the running game. Jordan Mason is currently second in the NFL in rushing yards with 247, and his performance has been more than just good fortune. While the offensive line has provided strong support by creating plenty of running lanes, Mason has shown dominance, playing like a lead back and performing at a star level. The Rams are allowing an average of 5.6 yards per rush, which ranks as the third worst in the NFL. They've allowed three rushing touchdowns and four runs of 20 or more yards. Their defense has given up 394 rushing yards so far, also ranking third worst in the league. Meanwhile, the 49ers rushing offense has totaled 282 yards across two games, averaging 4.5 yards per carry they should be able to exploit the Rams' weak run defense. But can Mason handle the load again? Kyle Shanahan and Bobby Turner need to find another running back to relieve some of Mason's workload. Rookie Isaac Garendo may not be ready for that role yet, but veteran Patrick Taylor, Jr. could step in. The 49ers also have Kushan Vaughn, a fifth-year player, on the practice squad. Vaughn has played in 43 games, all with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, while Taylor had 141 rushing yards on 32 carries last season with the Green Bay Packers. Protect Purdy and give him time to throw. Last week in Minnesota, Purdy struggled due to limited time in the pocket. He was sacked six times. This season, Purdy has been sacked eight times, hit four times, hurried ten times, and pressured 22 times. He's been under pressure on 28.9% of his dropbacks. Some of this is on Purdy, as he held on to the ball longer than usual in Minnesota. After the game, Purdy acknowledged to Vikings defensive coordinator Brian Flores that the defensive scheme was crazy. Purdy had some trouble making decisions as quickly as he typically does. While some of the blame falls on Purdy, the offensive line has been the primary issue. In week two, even Trent Williams had an off game, and center Jake Brendel has struggled with pass protection often ending up on the ground. The 49ers' offensive line must improve and give Purdy the protection he needs. If Purdy is playing without three of his top targets, his teammates will need to step up to compensate. Luckily for Purdy and the 49ers, the Rams are giving up an NFL-worst 9.9 yards per passing attempt, 
and their defense has allowed a passer rating of 121.4, the third worst in the league. Rely on other players to step up. Alongside Mason and the other running backs, the 49ers will need some of Purdy's other teammates to step up. Wide receivers Jawan Jennings, Chris Conley, Ronnie Bell, and Jacob Cowing will need to create separation and help make up for Samuel's absence. When Kittle left the game briefly last Sunday, T.E. Eric Saubert stepped up with a couple of catches. The 49ers will count on Saubert and possibly other tight ends like Jake Tonjas to contribute. T.E. Braden Willis is also an option from the practice squad. Additionally, F.B. Kyle Yushtik could see more involvement, especially in the passing game. While Yushtik rarely runs the ball, he occasionally sneaks out of the backfield to make a key catch. Purdy might need to rely more on him this Sunday. All eyes will be on Purdy to see how he performs without some of his offensive stars. But he won't be able to do it alone. He'll need his teammates to rise to the occasion and his coaches to put him in a position to succeed. The rest will be up to him. Don't miss any 49ers news. Subscribe and like this video now. We post two videos every day all week long. Thank you to all our supporters. Bang Bang Niner Gang.